What's going on guys? This is One Hand Tech back with another review for you. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Zyro PLA Silver Filament. Uh, this filament you can get on Amazon right now for $21.99. It's a pretty budget filament uh, in the same ballpark as like uh, Hatchbox and some other uh, pretty budget brands. Uh, but this one is a little bit different uh, in the way that it prints. Um, uh, it's a little bit of a spoiler. I have not been able to get the extrusion right on this filament at all. Uh, whenever I go through to calibrate my E-steps, everything comes out right. But whenever it comes to print, uh, you'll see in the prints that there's some, some under-extrusion in some areas. And I've just never been able to get it right. Now... The temperature uh, that you can print with this filament is pretty good. Uh, it calls for the temperature range between 190 and 220. Now I went from 180 to 220 uh, as you can see right here with the temp tower. I'll bring that closer here in a second. Uh, let's just do it right now. Let's see. Bring the temp tower closer. And as you can see in the different temperatures other than the 220 the 220 you can definitely tell was too hot um, but other than that there is no uh, real deviation uh, what I've been doing is printing right around 200 degrees and that seemed to work the best um, one of the things I always do whenever I get a new filament is I print the temp tower and see what temperature the filament performs best at within the range and I'll even go a little bit below and a little bit above what the recommended temperatures are just so I can get a good idea of what what temperature it prints best at um, once I get the temperature down that works the best depending on um, the temperature tower then I'll go through and I always print print a benchy and here's the benchy for this one uh, let's see if we can get in here overhangs need a little bit of work but other than that uh, the benchy came out pretty good I had to work a little bit on the retraction settings, um, but uh, that was addressed, you'll see a little bit later on. Now, after I do my benchy, I always put a little Marvin keychain, and as you can see, this Marvin um, come out pretty good. Can't complain, he doesn't have a lot of droopage in between his legs. Uh, there is a little mess up here. Like, uh, it looks like there wasn't enough cooling, but the cooling is fine. Uh, so I'm not sure what the issue was with that. I see inside the eyes there was no, no issues either. And then I always print a bridge test. So I can see um, how the bridging is on a particular filament. Now this is the Bibo or Bebo uh, temperature torture test. And it goes from 10 millimeters to 60 millimeter bridge, and it'll let you know um, how you're doing. I'm looking at the surface finish on the top. Uh, it's not bad at all. All the towers are pretty straight. Uh, so it prints that fine. If you look underneath in there, uh, there is a little bit. A little bit of roughness on each one of those bridges now there was uh, on the 60 millimeter bridge you can see if we can get that to focus there uh, it's not gonna focus All right. um, but right here there's a little bit of drooping on the 60 millimeter one you can almost see it right there um, through those prints, I tried to get the, the uh, extrusion multiplier correct. Um, 
and then I printed a maker coin. This, this coin I found on Thingiverse. I'll have the link to all these models. Uh, all of them were printed off Thingiverse down in the description. Uh, but this is just a little YouTube coin and it printed beautiful. Just beautiful. Uh, here's a little um, bracket that I printed out. Also I got this from Thingiverse. Uh, this is for a GTEC Pro B. This is the Y uh, stepper motor mount. And printed out just fine. Now I made a vase just to see how the accuracy was through all of the outcrops there. The vase came out very, very nice. Now the printer that I used, uh, the Me Creator there, I, it has a smaller build area so I couldn't print this at 100% scale. I had to scale it back to, uh, I do believe that was at 80%. I uh, went ahead and did the, um, was the Area of the Dragon. No, I did a time lapse on this on my channel. You guys can take a look at that. Uh, area came out very, very nice. Um, they had a little bit of roughness underneath their chin there and down under her armpits and belly area. Other than that, came out beautiful. There was a little bit of stringing up here towards the top of the wings, um, but other than that, it came out really nice. The peaks on the uh, wings you can see came out really good and I also printed just today I did a little I wanted to see how accurate this um, filament was when printing uh, so I printed out a gyroscope uh, keychain and as you can see just flicking it around there everything works beautiful there was no Happened to break anything free. It all just printed, lifted off the bed, and started spinning. So. I also did this Veroni mask. Now, I did this for my daughter um, just because the printer that I have, uh, the Pro-B is not put together yet. Still waiting on a couple more parts for it. And that one has a little bit bi bigger build volume than the Me Creator does. Um, but I went ahead and printed this one on the Me Creator uh, for my daughter. This is about the right size for her. And there is, let's see if I can get it in frame here. There's a little bit of stringing in there. A little bit of retraction issues. But other than that, not too bad. And you see in the back here on the eyes, there's uh, some droopage, but I mean, unless you're using supports or something, then I'm not sure how you would stop that. Now, this was printed without supports on a raft, and it came out awesome. I love the way this looks. Well, guys, that's going to about wrap it up for the review of the Zyro PLA filament. Like I said, you can pick it up on you or on Amazon for about $21.99. Uh, they have a wide range of colors. My son actually has a spool of uh, the gold from Zyro. Uh, he's using that on his Pro B printer. And I don't have any models up here right now to show you guys what the gold looks like. But he might do a, a review on that later on. Now, uh, would I recommend this filament? Probably not. I mean, it is a budget filament. It does put out some prints. And it doesn't do that bad of a job. But for the same price, there are other brands that have much better filament. It's much easier to work with. That has a much better surface finish and didn't give me near the troubles that uh, this one did. Now I have went through a full spool. I have just 
maybe 10 kilograms left on the roll. Uh, so I have used it quite a bit. Um, but a lot of the, the prints would either fail or they just didn't look right. Like I had printed a, um, a little iris box. Uh, you turn the, turn the top of it and the leaves close on top. I printed one of those and as you can see all of these come out nice and solid uh, but for some reason that iris box printed it twice both times it split uh, so I'm not sure if that's a a printer issue which I don't think it is because it's been fine with every other filament um, but and just that's just been my experience so take it at what you will um, I do have a couple of time lapses on my channel that you guys can check it out uh, with this filament. And I think I have another one coming up as well, if I remember correctly, another time lapse. Alright guys, that's going to about wrap it up. Um, make sure you stay tuned. I got some more um, filament reviews coming. Hopefully I'll have the review for that Me Creator 2 from G-Tech coming out very soon. Um, I should have a build a build um, video coming out for the Pro B once the parts get here and and then we're going to start working on some uh, some projects with the Arduinos and the Odroid single board computers and seeing what we can do with them uh, but make sure you guys hit that like button if you guys like these kinds of videos uh, leave a comment, questions down below. Let me know uh, any ideas you guys have uh, for new videos or what you guys are wanting to see, what I can change. And most of all, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Uh, that way you guys can stay up to date with what I have coming out. I do have a lot of uh, filament to review. Like I said, a couple printers. I have a couple Xtronic um, I got an, a soldering station from Xtronic that I got to review and a power supply. Right, so, so I'm going to keep busy making videos. I just make sure you guys stay tuned and, and stay involved. Right, until next time guys, catch you later.